Hi everyone, I'm Kristen and today I'm going to be making cheddar broccoli beer soup. So to get started, I'm going to cook some bacon and we're going to use the bacon fat a little later on. So I'm just using a big pot and about six pieces of bacon. I'm going to cook them until they're really crispy and then we're going to use them later for a garnish as well. So my bacon is crispy. I'm going to remove it, but leave all the rendered fat in there. And we're going to chop this up or crumble it up and use it as a garnish a little later on when the soup is all done. It smells amazing. So I cooked that over a medium heat. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit uh, because I'm now going to cook the onions and celery in the bacon fat. We'll get a nice sizzle. So this is really over a more of medium to low heat at this point. And you just want to saute them, so keep them moving because it's hot. Between the bacon fat and the onions. This starts to smell really good and will really keep your kitchen smelling fantastic until you're done. So I'm going to let this go for about five to ten minutes and you'll know it's done when the onions start to turn translucent and then we'll be ready to start adding our other ingredients. So now that everything is translucent I'm going to add some flour which is going to add uh, act as a thickening agent for the soup later on. So you want to just add a quarter cup of flour and mix it in really well with everything. The vegetables will pick up the flour. You hear the sizzling, stopping. So once they're coated in the flour, we can start to add in some of our liquids. So first up, some chicken stock. and the beer, which is one of the stars. Um, I'm using a local pale ale, but depending on what flavor you're looking for, you can really use whatever you want. If you want something a little heavier, then you can try you know, something a little bit darker or lighter, depending on what you like. Okay, and in addition to the beer, we're gonna add two bay leaves for a little seasoning, and those will just stay in until the end, and we'll take them out. So this will come to a simmer, and then we'll let it simmer for about 20 minutes to get all set up. So this has been simmering for about 20 minutes, so we're going to add in a cup of milk. That'll just help thicken it up. Give it a quick stir, and then we're going to start adding the cheese. I'm using a cheddar that was grated. And you could do it in kind of big handfuls, but you want to make sure that as you add it, let it completely melt before you add your next handful and it shouldn't take too long for it to melt. Now it's all mixed together. Last thing to add in is the broccoli. So what I did with the broccoli was cut it up and put it in a steamer and steamed it for about seven to 10 minutes. And then once it was done, I took it out and chopped it up into small pieces to be used in the soup. You can even do that ahead of time. So now that everything is together, we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes to get set up and then we'll be ready to serve. So our soup is all ready to go now. We're gonna plate it, and it looks amazing. And then the bacon that we used earlier, it crumpled up, and we're gonna use that as some garnish. It adds a nice taste and also a nice texture to the soup as well. That's it, enjoy.